I'd only been in radiology for about nine months when Sarah Morgan was admitted. And of course, I was still learning. I did feel a little uneasy when I had to go and take consent from Sarah. Obviously, this should have been done by the person responsible for the procedure, but the boss had been called away on an emergency. Hello. I'm Dr. Williams. I'm one of the radiologists here. I'm going to be with you during your procedure this afternoon. Now, have they explained to you what's going to happen? Yes, but I'd rather not think about it. Oh, OK. Well, I understand. But I do need you to sign this form, so I'll just quickly run through exactly what we're going to do. The technology for this procedure is really amazing. Instead of a big operation, we can now take a tiny little tube and slide it through the skin into this duct and leave behind a stent, which means we can keep it permanently open. OK, so how are we doing here? Yes, um, I've got my skin paint here. Everybody was busy. That day we didn't have an anaesthetic nurse for the patient, so she didn't get the level of attention she really needed. What's happening? Oh, the professor will be here in just a moment and then we can give you something which will help you relax and that should make you feel nice and drowsy. Drowsy? No, what do you mean? I thought I'd be asleep. The problem for us was that the patient hadn't understood what was going to happen. Good afternoon, I'm Professor Grenville. We'll be starting in just a moment. Okay. Are we ready yet? Well, we've just got to complete the baseline checks. We were pressed for time, and the new floor nurse wasn't helping. And the scrub nurse was so passive that she wouldn't be much help either. June Holloway, the floor nurse. She's good at what she does. I've learnt a lot from her, but I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. Has she been sedated yet? No, not yet. We've just got to complete the final instrument checks and then we're off. But we'll just be a moment. The way that June was squaring up to the professor. I could sense a class of the Titans coming on. I was new to the job. I certainly didn't want to get involved. I knew that if I did, I'd be trampled to death. Waiting around is bad for the patient, bad for morale, and it's a waste of my time. The team moved into the procedure. Even the least experienced of them knew the clinical steps well. The guide wire. The floppy end, nurse. Pass me the floppy end. I can't insert that through the skin, can I? When I look back on what happened that day, I've often asked myself why I said that. Frustration is the best answer I can come up with. Frustration at the system and at its daily procession of niggles and minor faults that stop you doing the job. <laughs>